still fly. I still fly. Close the top? No, leave the top. That way it's still getting air to keep finish burning. Can I put it in the front yard? I'm going to drag it. Hell no, nah, just leave it. They ain't going to charge me for leaving that? They better not, shit. They probably will. Because it ain't clean. Because one extra thing somebody got to do. I'm going to take that shit up front. With the trash that they can't see. Stop blowing that to me. Can you put your key over there? Mm hmm. Cause I came from Alright. She's ready. Okay. One last walk through. No. Well, no. Oh. Come on, we see. I'm gonna cry. Stop. You ain't doing it right. That's not fair. I'll take that to the street. What else? That's it. No walk through? Sure. You do it. You already got the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me go baby. Let me take my clothes. I can't have it. Here, here, here. Go check in the car. Oh, that's my house. Look at the fire. Look at the fire. Oh. Set yourself on fire. Oh. Just go ahead and close the top part, maybe. Ooh. That shit got chemicals in it. To keep the smoke out your face till you get it over there.
ये Mine was doing the same thing. Mine was acting up too. Okay, so yeah, um, 
we definitely want to just get out of here at this point to just kind of refresh ourselves. Um, another thing for me is I'm really into just a, a healthy lifestyle. Um, I've been learning a lot in terms of who I am and what this journey is about for me. It started several years ago. I've gone from being vegetarian to vegan um, to sort of a pescetarian, like a very brief period. Um, of course, I've eaten meat at some point in my life. I Now I kind of meander back and forth. I just don't do it like all the time. Like I pretty much eat a plant-based diet um, and I will be getting back to that my first few months in Florida, like strictly plant-based. But um, we have had some chicken recently, um, which is something I haven't had in years. Or about Come on, mile. Continue straight to I-75 South. GPS break. <laughs> but I haven't had chicken in about two and a half, three years, something like that. Um, and then before that, I had it, but then there was like a long break even before that. So I go back and forth. But um, I just kind of want to get to a healthier place, physically, mentally, spiritually, everything. I've changed so much in the last few years, um, spiritually. I've changed a lot mentally and I want to be in an environment where it's kind of nurturing to that like Florida you know you have the beach and water is like the most calming thing in the world to me so you have the beach you have continue straight to I-75 South you have the beautiful scenery the, um, the natural life so it's just something that is best for me right now you know i'm not saying that this is like a permanent move we don't know but for now this is what is going to be beneficial for the goals that we have so i'm excited i'm excited and it's not to say that atlanta is not healthy there's some amazing vegan restaurants here that i absolutely love i'll do a blog about that um i'll do a video about that soon to let you know some of the spots that I used to check out and a lot of them are black owned and I definitely want you all to support them because they are freaking amazing freaking amazing oh my god I'm gonna actually miss them I'm hoping that South Florida has a great selection like they do continue straight for 40 minutes to exit 177 I-475 South bypass to I-75 South Valdosta so yeah I'm excited about that about the, the different um, types of foods that we'll get to experience, the different cultures that we'll experience, which I can say about Atlanta, we have a very, very diverse um, city. There's one of every single type of person here. Um, it's amazing. And especially where I just moved from, that it almost felt like I was in parts of Africa. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. There's a lot of um, African people there which is amazing because that is like my favorite place in the world you know different countries of Africa but you get to see different countries different people represented and not just Africans but um, a very diverse group of people lived in that area it was really awesome so I know that Florida is I honestly believe that Atlanta is more diverse that's just my personal opinion that's not a fact that's not anything I've researched well it's based on me looking at the videos that we've been studying South Florida like we've been watching other youtubers we've been watching folks um, tell their experience and what they see they grew up there they just moved there whatever and we know that it is very diverse but I can tell you I see certain types of people consistently in these videos whereas in Atlanta you're gonna see everybody represented. You're gonna see, you're gonna see every single, everybody, you will at some point. And you'll actually have restaurants that come from- Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. You'll have restaurants that come from everywhere. Like we have a great selection of restaurants in Atlanta. I'm actually passing through Stockbridge. This is one of my old stopping grounds over here. I lived over here for um, not even a year, but a few months. But, you know, it's, it's the countryside of Atlanta, but it is so pretty. It's peaceful for the most part. It reminds me of back home, South Carolina. It's just got that country feel to it. Um, but, 
yeah so I'm very excited about our journey to South Florida oh and so just to tell you how we kind of picked South Florida one they just lived there he um, worked there for like a year and some change lived there and knows people there whatever and so he was like you know it's beautiful I absolutely loved it it just made me feel good and you know based on the types of things that I was telling him I wanted for my next place he was like it would be perfect so that was cool but we also really heavily considered Las Vegas um, I've never I've been to Las Vegas one time I've never been to South Florida by the way ever I've been to Panama City Beach I believe I've been to Jacksonville I don't remember it I've probably been places as a kid but I don't remember so yeah I, I'm going somewhere that I don't know FYI on that but I am a very adventurous person I don't let things like that worry me I don't let things like that stop me I just I'm kind of one of those people I have my mom's spirit in me I just I, I run with it you know I take it and I run I'm not afraid of a challenge I'm not afraid of exploring new things so for me to go to a city I've never been to and even live there I'm basing it all off of faith and I'm basing it all off of the research that I've done and I'm just going to trust and I'm going to just believe that it is going to work for me so just keep that in mind when I get there and I start doing videos I have never been there <laughs> never um but Vegas I've like I said I've been there one time it was like a party trip so it was out vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead it was a party trip, so it wasn't like me exploring the city to really know what it offered. But I wanted to be on the West Coast, and we all know that California is hella expensive. And I've never been to California either, but um, it's hella expensive. And to be honest with you, when I started asking people their experience and just doing video research and whatever, I started to not really want to go. You know, I do want to experience the West Coast, like to live at some point, even if it's like being by coastal or just for a few months, like two, three months, and that's it. I want to have that experience, but I'm not as pumped to do it as I used to be. I used to like, no, I want to live there, and now I'm like, eh, not really. So, um, but Vegas was on the list just because it is. It's a fairly diverse city. Um, and it put us on the West Coast, but it didn't fully give me all of the things that I was looking for in terms of the natural environment. And don't get me wrong, and I know people will disagree. I know it has like great mountains. Well, not necessarily great mountains. I heard it did, but they have views of mountains. Obviously, they have mountains there, and they have amazing outdoor life, like different national parks and things like that. But I do want the beach. That's one of the reasons I did want to go to California. I do want a very tropical feeling environment. That's the ultimate goal. I'll talk about that later. And I did want somewhere that was, um, what, is, what was I about to say? I don't even know. <laughs> but I wanted somewhere that benefited me based on the health goals that I have and I just feel like Florida is uh, right now a better fit for that and that's not to say that Vegas won't happen it's just right now it's not in the plan but we waited on that like for months and we actually had said we were going to Vegas we told people we were going to Vegas and then seriously last minute I was like nah my spirit is telling me Florida and so since that has happened I've not had any um change of my decision I feel good about my decision I'm excited so we are going to Florida we don't have a place to live but we have um, a list of hotels lined up and we have an Airbnb that we are seeking to get um, a bit of communication with more than one person but one in particular but um, for a time being we have a hotel that we are going to be at um, just hopefully for a day or two and we will get into our Airbnb. Um, so yeah, we're going on faith. We're going in this blindly. Again, I said Bay has lived there, so he does know the area. He does know people, and they have, he knows people that have actually grown up there, so they've given us some pointers and things that we can look for and 
you know, stuff like that. We're not fully blind. I am, because I don't have friends there, and I don't have an idea of where to stay and what to do and all that, but at least I have him who has some knowledge of the area, so. But we're going into this, like, just on faith, and we're gonna trust that everything works out. So that's my little snippet, I guess you could call it, on why we are going. It's just time for change, baby. And this is what we chose, and we're super excited. And we shall holla at you in a little bit. You can see Jack's a little bit in the back. He is like seriously getting his sleep on. Bless his little heart. He is so precious. You'll see him later. What's up, y'all? Okay. Welcome to All in the Gang Gang. We in the Gang Gang, and we're going to start a beautiful channel for you guys. Straight okay. up. There you go. I go by the name of Fresh. And my name is Josh. Tiger. Tiger Style. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to our channel make sure you like subscribe and comment and let everybody know to check us out as we go on our journey through the world right Jax um yes 